Every year, natives from all over California meet up to put cultural fire on the land. Their families rely on fire as a tool for encouraging plant relatives and medicines to grow. Cultural burning is a ceremonial and scientific practice that has existed since time immemorial. Today, it provides spiritual and cultural grounding to native communities, while also protecting vital indigenous ecosystems and waterways. The Tex family is one of those families who come each year to show respect to the land through fire and to share their knowledge of basket weaving with other native people. This year, Julie and her daughters are in good company. More than a dozen native women have come to burn and to harvest sourberry sticks for weaving. At this time, the sticks are straight and narrow, perfect for making baskets. We are today at the Culture Burning in Mariposa and in Mariposa County uh, and on land that belongs to um, Jack Kirk, who's deceased. And it's his um, niece, Myra, and her husband who are showing people the benefits of cultural burning. Uh, I am here to support Ron, my friend of old times and my husband's cousin as to the benefits of cultural burning because we can talk about prescribed burning and cultural, pres uh, and, and cultural preservation um, as um, safety, but it goes more than that. It goes along with the food that we eat. It belongs to the culture that we want to um, um, perpetuate. The previous year, the meadow was filled with overgrown sourberry bushes. After a crew of native and non-native land stewards trimmed back the overgrown sourberries, they burned the brush in ceremony. The fire turned the brush to ash, and the ash restored the nutrients to the soil, encouraging the sourberry bushes to sprout up this year with fresh new shoots, which are now ready to harvest. Every step of this process, from trimming bushes to spreading the ashes to selecting the just right sticks, is done with reverence for the land and for the ancestors. This work is accompanied by prayer, singing, storytelling, and laughing. For Native people, this process is sacred. It's also very rare. Barriers related to land access, burning laws, and just general safety make it hard for Native families, like Julie's, to steward the land. Native community gatherings like these encourage the growth of culturally significant plants and medicines which the community relies on for its physical and spiritual health. And that is why events like cultural burning workshops are so important. Pass it around. Has anyone seen one before other than pictures? Okay, good. So this one is actually, it's contemporary. Mom made it. And um, I forget how long ago she made it, maybe about 10 years but it's for demonstration purpose to show the newborn or Pusuk basket. You know, not every one of these kids is going to learn about baskets or about being Indian, and they're not necessarily going to like what they learn, but there's going to be maybe one kid, two kids, three kids, that little seeds get planted. And so those are successes. Oni is a 14-year-old boy accompanying his mother, Robin, a very talented basket weaver, to the cultural burn for his very first time. This particular weekend, he's helping his mom and her friend Waylon, the vice chairman of the Southern Sierra Miwok tribe, with the burn process. We're learning like how things work in the old native land. Uh, we're trying to get everything like organized and like like uh, back in place how it used to be. So right now we're just like um, helping out the the land, make it feel like it's native land again. Native youth suffer from some of the worst public health and education disparities in the nation. For youth like Oni, attending these events can provide a sense of pride and purpose that is rooted in ancestral knowledge. Being on the land with other Native people, youth like Oni learn that their ancestors use fire to protect the land, water, plant, animal, and human relatives here on this earth. They see their people continuing sacred traditions like Oni, who observes his mother weaving new creations to gift to workshop attendees. Good fire is placed on the land, and in gratitude for the nourishment that the fire provides, the land gives weavers like Robin sticks for basket making. 
In gratitude for the Southern Sierra Miwok community on whose ancestral land the workshop takes place, Robin gifts her basket to the tribe's vice chairman as a symbol of reciprocity. She gives to the land, it gives to her, she gives to others. The cycle continues forever. <laughs> you know, people talk about success and uh, my children are my success. I'll, I'll get real teary about this now. <laughs> I'm so proud of them. So proud of them. Um, they're all educated. Uh, they're all outspoken. They're all very respectful. And they're all cultural bearers. And I can't ask for anything better than that. That when I die, I know I did a good job. Yeah, that will be my legacy, is them carrying on the culture. And better than I did, I can honestly say. <laughs>